And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Seattle Mariners. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And on the mound today, Luis Castillo. Great sinker. Although it's not his primary pitch, it's really a pitch that he can go to, misses the barrel of the bat, gets ground balls, and lets the defense work behind, behind him. him. Ready to go now. DJ LeMay Hugh to start it off. The pitch. Right on that fastball. All ones the count. And that's strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. He's got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Aaron Judge at the plate. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Chopped left side. Judge out of the play. And let's take a look at the lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Two out spaces empty. Swings through that one for strike two. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. This one smacked out to left center. And that is that. Yanks held in check. So now the Mariners offense gets to go to work for the first time. We've got no score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at T-Mobile Park. Getting the nod in this one, Carlos Rodon. Power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity, and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. The wind of the pitch. In the air out to center, Judge settles underneath it. This looks like extra bases. Now around second, going for third. And he's got a leadoff triple. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Line drive. Come on. Takes it to the bag himself and doubles him off. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swing it a foul straight back. Polanco, a former All-Star, 30 years old now, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Around second now, going for three. 
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Mitch Garver up to it here. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Two outs with a runner at third. And that one fouled off. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches. Now that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. One left for Seattle. We played an inning. No score. Back in Seattle, Leading top off. of the second. Leading off, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo is a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. Why to kick the pitch? Late with the swing there. Well, a come oh, and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Swings through the fastball oh, up in the zone. Mike Fillmore a plate umpire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog. And I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way. So people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Righty to the plate. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And, and the right-hander deals. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And he grounds one to the right side. On to France. One up, one down. The first base Anthony Rizzo. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Fought off foul. deal one out towards right center field Rodriguez sizes this one up and it's caught the out that is good. the second base here comes Claver Torres oh. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the second. On the ground, right side. Finds its way through base hit. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here's Alex Verdugo. And fouled off. Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. As this one sized up, brings it in. And that's the third out. The Yanks lead one. 
We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second and stepping in for the Mariners, Cal Raleigh. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And a pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. LeMahieu is there. Zips it to first. Gets the catcher by a step. Ty France up next for the Mariners. Out to short. Tosses the first. And that quickly, two away. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. That's a base hit. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. You often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Out to short, Volpe. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Now he launches a throw over his head. Batting on the third base. Short steps have to make some pretty difficult throws across the field sometimes. Might have tried to put a little too much behind that one, but clearly he got under the throw. Didn't stay on top. Not a good release point, and it just took off on him. Arias. And that one fouled off. Rodon ready. Here comes. Little chopper rolls foul. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. This one in the air right field. That is the inning. Mariners leave a couple. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back on to the third inning. Stepping in, Anthony Volpe. The right-hander back to work. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And the righty deals. Swing and a foul over the screen, and back out of play. Right hander kicks, deals. Base misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. And stepping in for the Yankees, Austin Wells. Fall off foul. Righty delivers. In the air, out towards left center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Two down. 
LeMahieu. So the lineup flips over. DJ LeMahieu, the next to hit. Fouled off left side. The line of the pitch. Late on that fastball. Well, head over to the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. One, two, three, go the Yankees. Still no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. The lefty fires. Bounced up the middle. On the run, throw to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's the always going to be smooth. Number she delivered a good play right there. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. He's 0 for 1. In the air, right field. Soto moving under this one. Drops into the glove. And there's two down. No matter. Number seven. Second and up next season. for Seattle, Jorge Polanco. One for one. He tripled in his first trip. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Do that fastball oh, right down. by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And a base hit. Well, here we go. Winning run is on base with two away. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Mitch Garver up next for the Mariners. And that one fouled off. If you're a base runner, you got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Rodon sets and deals. And fouled off. The 0 2. On the ground to the left. Fair ball. Polanco coming around third. In comes the winning run, and the Mariners walk it off for the win. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so much fun if you're on the other side, but what a great way to win. This team is celebrating, and this win is well-deserved. The final one to nothing for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long from T-Mobile Park in Seattle. Our final line score this afternoon. First was the victorious Seattle Mariners. One run, five hits, no errors. They led three runners on base. For the Yankees, no run, just one hit, one error. They left just one runner on base. Time of the ball line. 